Kathy and Anderson, and she don't allow it to film, but from the distance it goes. And his line is now empty. Get this costume. I guess this is art. You're influenced by your performance so many lives and so many, um, so many people. Fascinating. Sorry, I was just like, wow. I just, I just think blew my mind for a second. It's also important to remain balanced. It's like to come back to the, the philosophy of the saber and the balance between the mind and the body. Um, I think it's just as important in, in the process of creating something to have that balance in your own personal mind and body and and. I think the most important thing in this case is to remain truthful in what you're creating and, and hopefully that is enough. Yeah. And what I'm hearing that this is also such a big journey for you, like you're changing with this role and you're changing with this experience. Did you have any similar um, transformations with your in other roles like in the Pacific Rim or like in any other uh, roles that you have or this is the one that you feel like you're going to grow the most as an actor, as an artist, mm -hmm. as a person? I, have, I was greatly impacted by, by Shin, really. She taught me so much and of course I was really, really impacted by working with Ray Stevenson. He is such a giant and what you see in his work portraying Balin his wisdom is just as grand, and perhaps they have different ways of navigating the world, but Ray's understanding of the universe is so vast, and he's so infinite, so just working with him is, is a gift of a lifetime. des späten Nachmittags. Sie warten schon in der frischen Luft vor der Tür aus Star Trek Discovery. Mr. Doug Jones! Und aus der Originalserie und dem Kinofilm die Legende Mr. Walter Koenig.
We are so glad to have you here. Oh, thank you. So happy to be here. I wish I could say this thing. <laughs> So, uh, is this your first Comic Con? No. You have done them before. Is it, have you done many Comic Cons before? In Germany, this is about the seventh. Yeah. Yeah. I started in 1992. It's very good. So, um, you both were, were obviously on Star Trek. And um, you were on the original series, the one that started it all. How does that make you feel? Does it give you a sense of pride? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a short panel. It'll be a very <laughs> short panel. panel. <laughs> I promise to talk longer than him. Okay, okay that's great. <laughs> no, you know, this is an extraordinary... I feel very lucky uh, I've gotten this far. I'm still alive, number one. <laughs> uh, that had some... The modicum of success as an actor that I recognize, that I acknowledge, that I had a you know, chance to uh, be on the stage for uh, so many years. It's, uh, I'm very grateful for that. I, there are very many talented actors that I've known over the course of all these years who never achieved that kind of recognition. And I, I, I feel badly. You know, it's the luck of the draw. You know, something happens, some capricious incident happens that puts you in the forefront. It gives you the opportunity as opposed to somebody else. And it's not as a consequence specifically or exclusively of talent. Things just fall into place. You know, that's, that's the way life is, you know. Here's a gentleman who's been in the business for years and years but he's always been in a costume that makes him almost unrecognizable. And now, he's a movie star. Wow. You know, it, it's, it's at this late date. When you were cast in Star Trek Discovery, did you feel the legacy? Oh yes, you, you, can't, you can't not feel the legacy. Um, when, I, when I got the, got the call that they were doing a new Star Trek series called Discovery, it had been many years since there was a Star Trek on TV. I think Enterprise was the last one, right? And that had been many years before. But I grew up watching this gentleman here when I was, I was born in 1960. So when he came on the air in 1966, I was this big and watching TV like this going, they're in outer space. That's so cool. So now, years later, uh, I'm getting a call that they want me for a new Star Trek series. Of course I felt the legacy was such a beautiful thing to be a part of, yeah. So, and for you to, to watch this franchise develop over all these many years and the many incarnations, did you follow it? Did you watch the, the later shows? No. <laughs> He's honest. He's honest. Did you watch your own show? I watched at least once. At least okay. Once. <laughs> It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, it's, still <laughs> it's great. You, you once we found an online quote from you, in which you said that uh, people are more interested in Chekhov than they are in you as a person. <laughs> Do you still believe that, or did you actually say it? That people are more interested in Chekhov. Yes. Than yes. I think that's means. true. You, you still think, think that's true? Yeah. I've got a whole. There's a whole bunch of women who come up to me and tell me. They fell in love with Chekhov, but they wouldn't have anything to do with me now. <laughs> Would you say this is also true for Saru and your person? Yeah. Oh yeah, people love Saru. Not not so sure about me, but yeah. But but we, you know, but as an actor, you, you do infuse some of yourself into every character you play, and you get something from your characters that you play too. I've learned a lot from playing Saru that I didn't, you know, he. he he helped me get over my own fears and anxieties in life because he had to deal with them and I, I worked through his fears and anxieties with him and I benefit from, benefited from that. And uh, well, we need to talk to you too. Okay. Pink R2D2.
blades from the Witcher and others. anime, TV series and movies, like from Kill Bill, Last Samurai. Now the Comic Con is slowly emptying, here another few, it was so much to see, so much emotions to see the merchandise from the movies, the series, see the actors here on this convention, on this fair exhibition and yeah, what's to say? Yes guys, that was the video from here, from the Comic Con in Dortmund and if you like the video then give me a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to the SWAT when the SWAT is on tour again maybe on a, in the future on another other comic con and yeah that's it now I'm tired and see you in the next video guys cheers there